All right, everybody, what's up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. The year 2025, the map is Yemen. And there's a setup right there, fellas. Got the flag, got the employee discount, got the scavenger, dead silence, C4, EMP, standard, mandatory. Oh, wait a minute, though. Thunder, why are you using dead silence, man? You can't hear footsteps in this game. What do you got? One of them $400 headsets? Nah, nah, nah. I don't have that, guys. But listen, man, dead silence does a lot more for you than just quiet your footsteps. You guys all know I like throwing them EMPs and C4s everywhere. And when you do that, your character kind of shouts out, gives a little shout out. And when your teammates get murked in your vicinity, your character will also give a shout out, giving away his position. So Dead Silence does a lot more than just quiets your footsteps. It quiets your character. And the perk flows well with the setup, guys. Believe me, it really does. I've been having a lot of fun using the setup. And get the drop on this dude right here. All right, man. So you guys have been asking me, Thunder, what do you think about Sledgehammer Games banning... <laughs> trick shotters banning trick shotters in advanced warfare first of all you guys already know for the three days i played advanced warfare and those i played them hard i played like 10 hours a day uh, i i can't go back to playing that game dude i really can't when i even think about advanced warfare uh my left eye starts twitching i just i you know i get the shakes i can't even go near that game dude fuck that game but i'll play some bob's deuce all day long uh but for all you people asking me what i think about sledgehammer games banning people oh eat that c4 son uh, listen, man, Sledgehammer Games, you really shouldn't be banning anybody, man. People drop their 60 bones. They should be able to play however they want to play. Uh, I mean, if they're reverse boosting, there's a reason they're reverse boosting, dude. They're reverse boosting because they're sick and tired of being put in Battle 27 sweat fest lobbies. Now, me personally, instead of reverse boosting, I would just quit playing the game, which is what I did. Like, all my friends I know that are still playing Advanced Warfare are playing it because they're enjoying it because they're reverse boosted. Now they're getting cake lobbies. They're getting YouTube uh, gameplay lobbies and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do that, man. I'd rather just quit and play something else. I'm not going to reverse boost, dude. And then you got all these dudes talking about all day long. Oh, I figured out how to how to trick the reverse boost. I mean, if that's what you're doing all day long is trying to figure out how to trick the reverse boosting algorithm. And man, that shit's garbage, dude. <laughs> this shit really is garbage. And besides, man, if you're really good, if you've got real talent on YouTube, you don't need crazy gameplay. You could upload anything and people will watch you. Okay? You don't need to go out there trying to get 100 kill gameplays every day so you can put that shit in the title. Uh, but... I me personally, dude, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do it. I'm not going to reverse boost just so I can enjoy playing that trash. Uh, Sledgehammer Games, you shouldn't be uh, banning anybody, man. You should be you should be happy people are playing your game. Like, I went on Black Ops 2 this morning, and there was two... No, there was 100,000 people playing. There was 100,000 people still playing this game three years in. So, I'd love to know how many people are playing your game, Sledgehammer, but... You guys don't show how many people are online. And you want to know why? Because you guys are embarrassed. Because you know nobody's playing this shit. I had one of my followers send me a COD Ghost screenshot just to see how many people were playing. In the middle of the week, they had 3,000 people on COD Ghost on Xbox. 3,000 people were playing COD Ghost. Shit, there's more people probably playing World at War than COD Ghost right now. Oh, he, man, C4, man. See how C4 just takes out campers in a window? Oh, Vondahar, bring that shit back, baby. Bring, bring, us, bring us a second helping of C4 in your next game, please. Uh, so they want to ban trick shotters now too Is that even really happening? I don't even know man Because I haven't gone anywhere near advanced warfare In about, I don't know, six weeks I don't even know if that's really going on I never saw any trick shotters Like I said, man, most of my lobbies were just uh, MLG sweat fest lobbies The MLG Olympics uh, that, That's all I saw every lobby uh, You know, pubs, what's a pub? There's no, there's no pubs in advanced warfare, man It's just, it's just game battles It's just MLG Olympics That's all those lobbies are, man No such thing as a pub My boy my boy Chris Trout tweeted out this morning, man. He's like, Advanced Warfare pubs are so unenjoyable. You know I had to drop a favorite on that. Hell, I agree with you 100%, Trout. Shit is just... Listen, man, I got to tell you Call of Duty developer something right now. If you guys want to save this franchise, man, keep it casual. I mean, I know you guys are pushing competitive. I'm fine with that. There's a place for it. But don't try and bring it everywhere. Keep the shit segregated, man. Keep the, keep the pub lobbies pubs and keep... Keep, uh, you know, competitive, competitive. Don't try and mix the two. Don't try and make pubs game battles every game, man. You're pushing people away. People want to game casually. I don't want to come on here every day and play balls to my wall with the best setups and playing uber defensive. I don't want to do that, man. That's not fun for me. I like running around like you're seeing right here. Just running around, throwing C4 all over the place, running and gunning, having fun. I don't want to play this game like I'm playing a game battles match every game or an MLG qualifying match. You know? And that's why Black Ops 2 is fun. You could play a pub match. Pubs are fun in Black Ops 2. 
You would come in here with a sniper and trick shot all around and shit on people. You would come in here with any gun and shit on people. You don't have to use the best setups in the world to do well in Black Ops 2. I mean, you got dudes running around with pistols shitting on people in this game. Um, keep it casual. That's the message in this commentary, guys. There's a place for pro playing. There's a place for competitive. You got the competitive lobbies. That's fine. Have the skill-based matchmaking in there. No problem, man. Uh, just keep pubs, pubs. That's all you guys need to do. But anyway, man, I'm trying to backpack this team. As you guys can see, I got my streaks up in the air. I got the VSAT. I got the uh, fucking AH-6 Overwatch. Whatever this thing is, man. Escort drone. And in this game, man, streaks are actually good. Streaks actually put in work. It's not like in Ghost or in Advanced Warfare where the streaks are garbage. These streaks can actually really help you out in the game. And I'm trying to backpack these guys. And as you see, my escort drone is getting some kills now. Now I get the Cujos. So it's a close game. And I'm hoping that calling in my Cujos will just turn the tides right here and get us the win. Because usually the dogs are good for at least 6 to 10 kills, at least. And, you know, this is a tight game. And if my teammates are really, like, you know, heads up, they could also sneak up on people while they're shooting the dogs and get easy kills themselves. But, yeah. I, they, yeah. Teammates didn't really help out too much this match, fellas. They really, really didn't. Which, in a way, you know, hey, it's a silver lining for me because, hey, more kills for me, man. So, more kills for me. I'm having fun. It's all that really matters. And, like I said, man, 100,000 people, because I get the Ruthless Medal, 100,000 people still playing this game, which just goes to show you, man. If Call of Duty was to just eliminate uh, Sledgehammer and eliminate Infinity Ward and just went to Treyarch and had Treyarch make this game once every three years instead of just keep cranking out, you know, these subpar titles, which, which is making, which really killing the franchise, in my opinion. Uh, if they just stuck with Treyarch, because they're clearly the only ones that know what they're doing. And oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. did I just survive a sniper at close range? This has got to be a fake video. Whoo, for rare encounter right there, man. A sniper will shit on an SMG at close range in this game nine out of ten times. So, I mean, Treyarch ain't perfect, but by God, they're the best we got, man. They're the best. They ain't perfect by a long shot, but they're the best we got right now, fellas. So, if Activision was to just get rid of Infinity War and get rid of Sledgehammer, have them work on something else, just be like, all right, Treyarch, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make you make the Call of Duty game once every three years. You'd have a better product. You'd have less spam, and you'd have a better product as a result. And look at this death right here, man. Look at this noob. <laughs> Throwing out sensor grenade. Oh, damn. I didn't even see it because that dude had the, uh, he set the pick and roll ahead of me. I couldn't even see the dude. He screened me. <laughs> good shit, man. Hey, another embarrassing death, man. It's all good. Everyone's got embarrassing deaths like that, man. This dude threw, he's still there. He's got a sensor grenade. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm going to shit on that thing with the EMP. EMPs are so versatile. Throw a C4, didn't get him, and I'm no way I'm gonna run in there and try and chase him either, because you know that noob is just sitting in a corner aiming at the doorway waiting for me. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be that guy that keeps getting killed trying to kill the same camper. I'm all set. I don't fuck with campers, man. I'll just keep running around. If a camper knows you're coming, he's gonna get you most of the time. The only way to kill a camper is to sneak up on his ass. And oh, I was I was right about to get the last kill because I picked up the SVU spammer. Pop 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 pop. You know I would have killed the whole team with that gun, man. This game would have been over. The SVU spammer? Damn. But this guy cleans up, gets the last kill, and we lose. And it is what it is, man. There you go. I still dropped 39 kills, and we still lost. Oh, the curse is real. <laughs> the curse of the green triangles. Hey, if you're dropping 39 kills with only three deaths, you definitely shouldn't lose. But, hey, man, sometimes this shit happens. And when it does, you know I like to upload it because it's funny as hell. But anyway, guys, that's the gameplay, the commentary. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoy the football games today, the playoffs. My Patriots are playing against the Colts. We'll see what happens. Uh, Seattle's playing Green Bay. You know, Green Bay got lucky as hell with that ref call. Des Bryant caught that ball, man. So, I don't know. Are they going to get a Super Bowl, a trip to the Super Bowl out of that bad call? I don't know, man. We'll see. Anyway, it's your boy Thunder. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. And if you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go. It's the Legend of Thunder. You can't rock like this. Get owned and pwned. Paint up and drive shot like this. Whole nother level. I am in the Thunder Zone. Man, Mexicod. Welcome to the Thunder Zone. Team 9 Lethal. We drop back to back like birds. They go to spicy red Dorito chips. Dinner is served. Uh-oh, here comes the Thunder. 
here comes the rain Fully loaded if he's seven, I'ma blow out your brain <laughs> Grab a scabby pack and spam C4 Have them rage quicken from X1 to PS4 My BBW buzzing, strategically placed a Russian Move his haters, hundred buzzing, cause Timmy is no thumbing I'm flawless up in TDM, I got skills So poor hunters and dyers, man that's not real Uh-uh, I shut them down like a EMP Get thunderstruck when you step to me, now let's go I'm ready to fight, let's go But all I wanna do is rock and roll I'm ready for war, let's roll Be ready when you hear that thunder roll I'm ready to fight, let's go But all I wanna do is rock and roll I'm ready for war, let's roll Be ready when you hear that thunder roll You can't hide, we got these sets up Look like some spicy red nachos, I eat that up you wanna rock with the best, well the best is me Get thunderstruck when you step to me, now let's go You can't hide, we got beats and so Look like some spicy red nachos, I eat that up You wanna rock with the best, well the best is me Get thunderstruck when you step to me, now let's go <laughs> This has been brought to you by the one and only This time, AKA Doom Killer 92, baby You are now rocking with the best Thunderstruck, thunderstruck, freedom pride, freedom pride. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let the good times roll.